guys, Apple Newbie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play The Walking Dead, the Telltale Game Series, and we are now on Episode 2, DOS, <laughs> Starve for Help. Anyway, from the last we left off, I have still one food left, which is a half piece of an apple, so as much as um, I hate and despise Larry, but I guess I'll give him the apple because as you know, as much as possible, we'll go with the uh, elderly. Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> uh, okay. Here, Larry. I hope you don't think this makes us friends. I could have gave you nothing. <sighs> yep, exactly. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me crazy. I know how you feel, Mark. I've been giving away the food and I got nothing. So you're okay. Not such an easy job, is it? Yep, indeed it's not. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Yep, I know. But that's life. You can't please. Ken, Lee, come here, please. Can't please. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. But... He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. That man you brought, I tried. But he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me! Katja! Oh, no, 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 no! I was about to pick a choice or something! The axe! Hurry! Oh. Oh, no, 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 oh, oh, it's glitching out. I'm dead. What's wrong? Oh, my God. Move, it's, move. It's glitching out. Ugh, shit, it's stuck. It was glitching. No, 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 no. Keep. Oh, my God, that was a really a bad glitch. I don't know. Use as Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Q -q 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 Shoot it! Oh my god, I shouldn't You okay? Yeah. Thanks. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! Oh, yeah. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! But he wasn't bitten, I swear! Well, your not-bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. What is it? You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. Ah. Uh. We're all infected? Everyone? Okay. I, I guess so. I don't know. I All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Uh-oh. Whoa, lady, relax. Uh, me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off! Carly. Uh... Are you armed? Yeah. F for protection. Dead could be anywhere. But, uh... I think you got the upper hand here. Why do you need gas? Our place is protected by an electric fence. 
Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If, if y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Oh. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out, see if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? Uh... You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lily's way of running things is smart. It's not easy, but it's keeping us alive. Or maybe you just don't want to be in charge. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Larry. Larry knows. Great. That can't be easy. Clementine might know. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore and asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? You know what happened. I only know what the press was told. I don't know your story. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. Right, Lee? Yeah, why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Mm -hmm. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh... Lily. She runs a pretty tight ship. Her and her dad are ex-military. Yeah, she knows her shit, but she needs to know when to back off sometimes. How many people you got over there anyway? Oh my god. They are... What? Oh, Enough no. to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. Mama's been running the dairy for, well, as long as I can remember, but uh, now it's... Getting... You think you're going to cut me out of this? Uh-oh. Shit, get down. Another? No one's trying to cut you out of anything. You and Gary are always Fucking pulling this shit. bandits. Who? Those look like the people who oh, raided man, my camp. Who are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fucking you knew we were hungry. And are. you guys were keeping it there's all There's only yourself. two of them. Oh, no. There's yeah, a you lot know what? more We ate it all. What are you going to fucking do about it? Don't worry. Danny and I got you covered if something happens. But let's just wait this out and hope they move on. Fuck you! Oh, my God. Oh. You be kidding me. Fuck you! Fuck you! You. Jesus! Asshole! Oh my god! The world out here has gone to shit. Come on, let's get to the dairy where it's safe. We'll take his gun. Or something. He, maybe he has weapons. Ah. Oh my god, this... This game, you know, the climax is up and down, up and down. Here it is. St. John Family Dairy. Ooh, cool. <laughs> Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Yep, I think... It is Saint John. Oh. 
This is a really brilliant setup. Suits us just fine. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival experience to lead your group? Uh, yep. I'll be working. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Hold on, I, I thought you said someone else was running things. Oh, yeah, I, I thought she was asking about survival tactics. Well, it don't matter. You're here now. We'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. We're awful hungry. These are for y'all. Baked fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't get stuff like that anymore. Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What she... We have a vet. But we could bring her here. But we can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Our prayers have been answered! Maybe our whole group could come. For the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Oh my god, where's the bread? Why don't I head back with the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Oh, where's the bread? Oh my god. Mark, Lee, why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. And checking the fence perimeter? Sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. All right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Andy. Okay, let's try to check everything here from perimeter to perimeter, from inside and out. <laughs> let's check this out. Oh, broken swing. Too bad it's broken. I'll bet Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. Mm. Mind if I fix it? Sure, that'd be great. Mama sure does appreciate y'all helping out. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. Okay, so where are the ropes and the board? Okay. I don't know with the frame rate issue with this one. Something going on, I mean. Will I go inside? No, I'll just stay here for a while. Then I'll go up. Let's talk to Mark. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, keep me posted. Hey Mark, it's much easier and much faster too if you're gonna help me look out too. <laughs> Don't just stand there. Okay, what's this? Come on, why are you not... Oh, come on, man. Mm. There you go. Pointy. So watch with the pointy. Let's talk to you, Andy. Hi. Hi. 
Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you need some extra people to protect the dairy, you can count on us. Well, hopefully it'll never come to that, but thanks. Uh... We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Mm. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. These generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots, and we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. Uh, like us. Mm. Uh... I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. Yep. I'm just gonna look for the board. Oh, there it is. And the rope. I'm gonna fix the... Okay, there you go. This is too big right now. But if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Yep, there it is. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. Okay, so now where's the rope? <laughs> we got a board already. Oh, it fits on your pads. That's cool. And I can't find any rope. That's a pointy thingy. What's this? What does it say? Hey, uh, what are you fixing to do around the barn? Uh... How secure is your barn? Having a safe place for the cow is pretty important. Thanks to the fence, nothing gets in here anymore. Unfortunately, the deadies took most of our cattle before we got it running. Mind if I take a look? Sure, but uh, why don't we do that after we tend to the perimeter? Sounds good. Okay, so I cannot go there too. So where is that rope? Uh, I think maybe it's up here. Come on, let's use the gate. Okay, maybe there's a rope here. That's... what's this? Mmm, fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. Yep, I'm hungry too, actually. <laughs> Come on, let's look. Where's the rope? Maybe inside? There it is! Voila! This rope is perfect for the swing. Did you get it? Yeah, coolio. Can I knock? Or they I'm not allowed. Ooh. Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Ah, oh, okay. Your family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lee. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. But you're really suspicious. What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here, just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. Yeah. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? <laughs> oh, uh, just curious, I guess. Let's not start thinking too far ahead now. Let's just focus on getting y'all a good home-cooked meal tonight. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. No problem. Yeah, it's a little bit 
suspicious and a little bit creepy but one way or another that Lee's asking her questions about that so they also feel that I'm creepy I mean Lee's creepy okay let's fix the swing all right this shouldn't be too tough Hi, well, I'll be damned Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it, too. Did you say something, darling? Oh, my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Can I ride on the swing? All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Oh, okay. So, what else to do? I can't go back in. Ah, yeah. We'll go and look in the perimeter with Andy then. Anyway, I think guys, I'll end the part 3, I think, with this one. Oh, no. It's just part 2. Man, I'm really hungry. Because I just got off from work and I just recorded after it. Because, you know, I've been sick. I was sick sick yesterday and I wasn't able to go from work anyway uh, that's it for tonight for tonight oh my god <laughs> sorry about this guys I'm really, <laughs> really hungry it really shows thanks again for watching and for sticking around and I do hope to see you again next time as always take care and take it easy bye bye